YouTube. How y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, back with another gameplay video. And as you can see there, yes, I did. I picked up Titanfall 2. And I didn't have any intentions on buying this game. You know what I'm saying? It was on sale for a few days, and I caught it like on the last couple days. $30. So I thought, you know what I'm saying? I really do need a break from Infinite Warfare. The best way that I can explain it, you know how you got homeboys or homegirls that you can see every day and y'all be cool. Then you got a homeboy or homegirl that you got to take a break from every once in a while because they just get on your nerves if you spend too much time with them. That's how I feel about Infinite Warfare. I need a goddamn break from that game, man. Honestly. Like, I'm, I'm, some of the stuff that happens to me, I'm just tired of it. I need a break. As a matter of a fact, this is the kind of stuff that I'm tired of. Just, just look. Just look. Bruh. Grenade launcher. Bruh. Oh, it didn't kill him. How? Again. Boy, if you don't. What the hell is he made out of? And then he gets this close and knifes me. How? Take a few steps back. And I know Titanfall 2 probably has its cheese too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not expecting it to be a perfect game. But there's nothing wrong with a little variety. Because like I said, you know, I was playing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare almost every day. And sometimes it just gets annoying. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to have different games to switch up from. So right here, I'm just going through the different customization. Because I haven't played Titanfall 2 up until this point. I played Titanfall 1, the original, for maybe a week and stopped playing it because I think at the time I was heavy into Ghosts or whatever the Call of Duty was at the time. So I really didn't give the original Titanfall that much play. I honestly played it maybe once or twice and then I never cut it on again. But as you can see there, they provide you with the patch notes right in the game. You don't have to go search Reddit or their website. It's right in the game. So I looked at that. I thought that was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a nice feature to have. It's customer friendly. And you don't have to go all over the place trying to figure out what the hell they just fixed, what they buffed, what they nerfed, all that stuff. But as you can see, you do have packs that you can buy, different customization packs. And yes, there are microtransactions in the game, as you can see. You can cry and complain about them, but they're here. I mean, developers have found out that is a great way to make extra money or additional money because you know there are those gamers that want to make their players stand out a little bit more, or have a different gun camouflage than the average person can get. So they might pay a little bit more just to have that customization. So of course the developers are going to capitalize on that and I expect them to. I'm one of those people. I Now I didn't buy any packs for this game yet because I really don't know how much I'm going to play it, but I do think it's dope that you can buy the exact camo that you want. You don't have to open up packs and pray for the one that you want, like in Infinite Warfare. And here is just a clip of the different game modes. You do have a pilots versus pilots mode where there are no titans. So for those of you that don't really care about the titans, you can play with pilots versus pilots. So I think they have a little bit of something for everybody. And they tried to cover all bases with this one. And I think that's good. So right here, I'm searching for a game. And as you can see to the bottom, there's a network down there. And those, I guess, are people that are playing right now. And you can see right there, somebody invited me to a game. It's not one of my friends or anything like that. So I don't know if they're inviting me because they see I'm new and they just want to wreck me or what. But I'm new to that. I don't know exactly how it works. I'll play with it and see how it goes, but I didn't accept the invite. I just went into whatever game they put me in. And as you can see here, you're in this ship with your teammates, and it brings you to the battlefield, and you guys jump out of it, and you run to go find the people. So this is basically your beginning spawn right here. And immediately after I touch down, I have to say, the running feels very awkward. I mean, I feel like Forrest Gump or some shit. I can't see my player, but it feels like I look goofy, like this. For you younger people, that's Forrest Gump. Legendary, classic movie. You should see it if you haven't seen it before. And as you see right there, that what I shot wasn't an actual player. 
there are grunts in this game, in the attrition mode, that are basically bots that each team has. And you can kill them to get extra score, but they don't give you the same amount of score that killing an actual multiplayer will give you. And that's one thing I remember standing out for me with the first Titanfall. It felt like you didn't get into a lot of engagements with other humans. It felt like you went a good period of time without seeing another actual real player. And as you can see there, I get my first Titanfall 2 kill perfect. And everything else as far as how the game looks and how you aim and how you shoot, it feels pretty fluid at this point. I don't have anything to complain about. Um, the game looks very good. The graphics look awesome. The environment looks really nice. So I think that Respawn did a very good job in developing this game in terms of how it looks and how it sounds as well because the environmental sounds are really good. It really does make you feel like you're in a battle, like you're immersed into a battle if you have on a pair of headphones, I would say. And there are some more bots. I just shoot at them to try and get my aim right because the aiming is a little bit different. As you can see there, your crosshairs are in like a triangle shape. And you can see them while you're running. You don't have to aim down sight to bring them up. So I think that's a little bit cool. You just have to get used to it, you know. And here again, there's some more grunts. And I don't know how much I like or dislike that. I mean, I guess they're in the game to keep you with something to shoot at, kind of. But I prefer to just play pilot versus pilot. I get my second kill there, as you can see. And then there's some more grunts. And I get killed by Mr. Hulkbuster. But at this point in the game, you know, I'm still trying to get a feel for the controls. And right now, I feel good about the game. You know, it feels nice. It looks nice. And I think that is going to be enjoyable to play. And as you can see right there... He was cloaked. Um, you can barely see them. Like I saw his outline at the last minute, but the cloaking is kind of powerful in this game. You know, you can see an outline, and I guess I'm gonna have to train my eyes to see them. But it seems like the cloak in this game is a little bit more hard to distinguish than it is in Call of Duty. And I could be wrong. You know, it could just be me being brand new to the game and not understanding how it looks and what to look for as far as cloaking but it did seem like it was a little bit harder to see him because I didn't see his outline until he was right up on me. and one thing that I can tell you is that these Titans shooting them with a regular gun is gonna take you 800 years to kill one of them you're gonna have to either be in another Titan or you're gonna have to use one of those anti-titan weapons and from my experience I haven't unlocked many of them but the one that I do have I'll show you later it does nothing like each shot takes away six percent or so of the Titans uh, health and you'll see later on in this gameplay I get a couple Titans okay and I get wrecked okay by other Titans and they have new titan killing animations that are just disrespectful and completely savage you'll get to see them once i get my titan but for right now i'm still running around trying to find somebody and I, again it feels like there's a long time in between engagements between myself and another human and I don't know if it's just me being used to Call of Duty, but even playing Battlefield and other games, it seems like you come into contact with people a lot more often in those games than you do in Titanfall. And I get it, you know, a lot of times there are going to be people running around in Titan, so that automatically takes one pilot away. They'll be in their Titan. So I think that maybe they should consider putting bigger teams in this game to make the engagements with other pilots more common. You know, maybe eight versus eight instead of six versus six, or maybe even 12 versus 12. But maybe the maps will then have to be bigger because if you have 12 um, Titans running around at one time, which is probably highly unlikely, but say you have six 
Titans running around at the same time. It might be a little hard to implement that into a map or make a map that's big enough for that to happen. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky or maybe I need to just stop complaining and goddamn play the game. Who knows? But as you can see there, I get my first Titan and this shit is going to be over very quickly. I get in. I'm wasting my time shooting at these runs while this guy is shooting at me. And as you can see there, he picks me up and just shoots me and throws me down like a piece of trash. And I know that there are some tricks and different things that I have to learn as far as these Titans. So I don't feel too bad about that. I come back and get me a kill really quickly. So it's not a big deal. I know that I'll get better with the Titans. That was my first Titan. But as you can see here, we lost. And when you lose, um, whoever the losing team is, you basically have to run across the map and try to get to your ship. And all the while this is happening, the other team is looking for your ass, okay? They know you're trying to get away. They know you're trying to get on that ship. And they can shoot that shit down before it even leaves. So when you lose, you have to try and escape without being killed by somebody on the other team. And you might make it to the ship and it might blow up before you even get on that shit. So, I mean, the best thing is to try and not lose the game, obviously. But if you do lose, you're gonna have to try and make it to this ship before they kill you or before they blow your getaway ship up. So, in the top, in the middle right there, where it says evacuation denied, that means they blew our getaway ship up. So we are not leaving. Our ship is done. And as you can see right there, I had four kills. It doesn't show you your deaths. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it does distinguish what type of kills you had. It tells you how many minion kills you had, how many pilot kills you had, and how many Titan kills you had. So, I mean, that's good. It does break down your kills, but it doesn't tell you how many times you died. So, some people might not like that. I'm sure there's a way to find it out, but it's not a big deal to me. But, as you can see here, I get put into another game that's already in motion. And I see a couple people there get a nice two-piece to start off the game. And one thing that I notice is that the human pilots, not the grunts, the human pilots have like a orange tint or orange outline around them that's kind of how i've been distinguishing between grunts and real players like as you can see him running away he has like an orange outline around him meaning that he's a real human player and he's not one of the bots so as you can see there i see him flying around and i end up getting this kill i don't know how but i end up killing him so right now i've had a lot more human engagement in this game but I do have to cut out some of the footage because for about a minute I was running around and I didn't see anybody and I see him standing there I don't know what the hell he was looking at but I see him and I get my Titan again it's not gonna be a very good outcome for me I get my one-on-one -on -one engagement but then there's another Titan over there and they tag teaming me right now I'm about to die so I jump out before my Titan just gets decimated and luckily they don't see me and I don't get killed. So I run back into this um, building right here and try to find somebody and I really run around for quite a while and I don't see anyone but this is the weapon I was telling you about. As you can see there I locked on to a Titan, shot him and it did basically nothing to him. So I don't know if that's just one of the weaker weapons or if I'm doing something wrong, but there's no way I'm going to shoot a Titan with that thing 500 times just to kill it. I mean, I'm, before I do that, I'm going to run around and try to find another pilot because all it takes is one or two shots from the Titan and I'm dead. So why am I going to sit there with this little pellet gun trying to kill him when it's going to take me, by the time I kill him, the game will probably be over. But again, we get defeated. So right now I'm on my way to the drop ship, which is gonna end up being a waste of my time because they're just gonna blow it up anyway. But I don't know that. So I'm running, trying to get there. 
Um, I see a Titan over there. I avoid him because I don't want to get killed. I'm trying to make it to the dropship for once. Um, and right now, I'm kind of confused as to where it is. Because this is my first time on this map, so I'm trying to figure out what path I can take to get there. Um, obviously, you can't run directly through a mountain or through a building. You have to figure out what path to take to get to the drop ship. So that's what I'm doing, trying to figure it out without getting killed. And as you can see there, evacuation denied, which means our ship was blown up and we lose the game. So right there, as you can see, I had seven pilot kills. So I did a little bit better that game, you know, even though I got into the game after it started. I was up there with the other people, so I feel pretty good. Um, as you can see there, I leveled up to a level two. And so far, I think I like this game. You know, it's still new to me, but I think it was a $30 well spent. Um, I don't regret buying it. I will have to practice and get better. I will get me some Titan kills, and I'll capture it for you guys. And I will upload some more gameplay. I will get some Titan kills. I promise you. So until next time, guys, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the channel. And if you have this game and you want to play with me, just hit me up on Xbox. You can see my gamer tag in the top right. But until next time, guys, Tecmo out. Y'all take it easy.